Hello everyone, Mike Arnold here, co-founder of Path Trading Partners along with Bob Iaccino. Just a quick recap in Stellar. Stellar triggered double top, came down, hit the key levels, rallied back up to the 50. It did have a potential double bottom in here for a little bit that never triggered, so all those levels are done. We then had the next minor level down, which was 0.2821, which we had a low and then a dead close on. Then we came down to the next major cluster area of 0 0.270. Closed on, dipped slightly below it, now returned to the rotation zone. So at this point, let's just update the some of the key levels. So we don't have a bonding pattern yet. This was a slightly bullish move back, but we need to form some bonding pattern. And if you look here now, we have another cluster, 0 0.248, 247 to 248. So I'd be watching for that. And then below that, we have point. 233 to 0.236 but at any point if we hit these levels we could get a bottoming pattern and then we'll be watching for a reversal trade just nothing yet let's check in on the daily chart for stellar again rotate up the rotation zone and coming back down breaking this little minor support here there's no major support in here there's a little minor prior breakout zone which was near this low so we could see a retest is low, and if it does hold there, we'll watch for a reversal pattern. We might be getting a slight divergence now, so we'll keep an eye on that, but nothing to rush into. It's time to be patient. We have the rotation zone against us on the daily and the four hour. So now is the time to wait for the high probability setups, which we don't have yet. Checking in on Bitcoin. Bitcoin, we had the minor level of 78.05. We got a reaction there, a little pausing bar. Then we had the next major cluster, 76.66 to 76.85, which was this low. Then we came all the way down. We had 74.08, and the bottom was 74.03 so far. So all those levels are now hit. Ah, that was exhausting. So what do we do now? Well, we have the next minor levels and we'll project the next major levels should we continue lower. This was a minor capitulation bottom. So we're going to make sure it holds about halfway of this candle and then gets a rotation back up. Then we can watch for key resistance now coming in about 7761 to 7800. And then if we rally through there, I'd watch for this next breakdown level right here with the declining 21 coming in about 8000. Uh, if we do rally, we don't have a bottoming pattern yet. We are watching to see if this is a capitulation bottom and we can break the high of this candle, but then we're going straight into the eight. So we are being very, very patient. The next minor level down, should we break below the 73.16 area? We're looking for 72.47. Then we have a major cluster about 7,079 to about 7,100. Then below that, we're looking at 67.56. Let's switch over to the daily and check in. So as you know, we have the rotation zone against us on the four hour, clearly against us on the daily. We did find some support right here also besides our GAN levels at this little prior breakout level. So that's where we're finding support. If we break below that, then really it's down to these prior areas which we're trading back at the beginning of April, which was a little resistance. Now could be support. I'd just be focused on this next GAN cluster, 77,079 to 7,100 if we do continue lower. No divergent setups, nothing on the daily that gives not buying opportunity. So we're really focused on that four hour chart and seeing if we can get that uh, potential capitulation bottom, which it's a shorter tail, but we're going to see if that does hold and rotate back up before we're doing anything. Finally, checking in on Ethereum, hit the first level, minor bounce back, tanking to the next level of the 612 area, and pausing there for a second, bouncing back, then coming back down, spiking through our bottom level, also could be a capitulation bottom in Ethereum. We're going to watch that 50% rule. We've talked about that in past videos. So all those levels are hit right now. We can drag this down to the next major level. And then we're going to come over here. Take this to the most recent move down. And see what our next key levels are. Should we break to new lows? On a rally back up. Key resistance now coming in about 620. Then again, if we rally through there about 650, the top, the declining rotation zone and this prior support area will be key. Let's just switch over to daily chart and check out these new lower levels. 
So on the daily chart, what do we have here? First, I can take off some of these other levels that aren't going to matter right now because we're going to have to reproject them. Uh, if this low of 564 does not hold, then we're watching for 544. Then major cluster area coming in at 524 to 529. And we have this prior breakout level just above that. So there's a lot of key support in here that we can watch for on the next push lower and then possibly down to 495 but we target the 500 dollar level again just seeing based off this four hour chart if there's a little spike low we want to see it not retrace more than half this candle and then rotate back up and break to new highs and then we'll watch for a turn first to the eight and watch the reaction off of there so we have for you on stellar bitcoin and ethereum and we'll talk to everyone soon bye for now